everybody. So today we're going to be making um, our own paint at home. I wanted to do some Valentine's Day stuff and um, I wasn't really pleased with any of the paint that I was seeing in the stores that were baby friendly. So I decided to find some on Pinterest and I'm going to make one of them. It looks really, really simple and easy so this should be a really quick video. Jax is just watching in his exer saucer. Aren't you buddy? Anyways, um, it's from theidearoom.net, and um, I'll post a link to it below, but anyways, um, what it says to do is mix, I've got, this, this is basically the, all the ingredients, so um, half a cup of cornstarch, three tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, and then two cups of cold water, and then um, I've got some food coloring to make some different colors. So I'm just going to get started by mixing all of that together in a medium pan. I'm going to use a big pot just because. Um, cook over low for like 10 to 15 minutes constantly stirring. So hopefully Jax is okay just chilling by himself for 15 minutes. We'll see. I'm doing a really, I don't know if you can really tell there, but it's not a full half a cup. People were saying that it could have probably used a lot less cornstarch. So I just did a, a, on the lower side of a half a cup, so not packed in, not anything like that. And I can use a whisk to start off with. Um, so there's my cornstarch in there. And I'm feeling like there's quite a few clumps there in the bottom. We'll see. Hopefully we can get rid of those just by constantly stirring. So the next thing is a half teaspoon. Here's my half teaspoon of salt going in there. And three tablespoons of sugar. So we've got three tablespoons of sugar going in there. Three. And now I'm just going to constantly stir it for about 10 to 15 minutes. 449 now that all the ingredients are in there. So at just around 5 o'clock, I'm still have some finger paint. Okay, so this is after, this is about 5 o'clock, and we've been stirring it constantly, and it's super smooth and thick, and it looks almost like a Vaseline, I think. Kind of like Vaseline, yeah. So it's getting a lot thicker, so I'm going to finish it in a couple minutes here, and then take it off the heat. It's starting to bubble a little bit, so I'm just going to put it right on to low. And it's smoking a lot, and I really don't want it to burn, but yeah, it's pretty neat, and really clear consistency, whereas before it was white, now it's clear, and that happened in like the last here here to store it in. I don't have anything super cute or matching like I would have liked, but I didn't know I was going to do this, so um, I just have some old jars that I kind of kept around. So I'm just going to divide this. It's still hard to tell, the lighting's really off, but I'm going to divide this into its um, jars and then mix in the food coloring. I'm way too impatient to let it fully cool, which I probably should do, but I'm going to just do one and see how that goes, and if it goes well, then I will do them all. It's, it's been cooling for about 10 minutes now, so I just kind of want to uh, do this while Mr. Jax is eating his mesh tea there. Are you eating? Mm. Yeah. Are we making paint? Are we gonna paint? <gasps> cool. Put that into the container. And that's about right, two half a cups there, which should be a fair bit. So there's still lots left in there, so maybe three quarters of and the first one. So this one I'm gonna do blue. I'm just gonna do one drop to start with and see how that goes. color with just one drop. I'm going to do another drop. It's still fairly warm, so that could be why the colors are just really nice and pastel-y. I really like that color. I'm still 
still has a little bit of a transparent consistency to it. You can kind of tell it's not quite, um, I guess, solid necessarily. So I'm going to try one more drop. This is a little bit more of like a blue. So, so far that's three drops. I'm going to do one more just because I want to make sure that it really comes out. Actually, I'm going to do two more. I want to make sure that it really comes out on the paper. It's fairly thick, but I think that that will be good for painting with jacks, because if it's too watery, I think it'll get, just get really messy, but with this we can hide our <laughs> mess-ups, I think, a little bit easier. So that's perfect. So that was four drops, I believe, mm -hmm. and that's really blue, blue color. So, um, yeah, that's my blue, and um, next I'm going to do some pink red for Valentine's Day. Right, so this is for the red and I'm going to do five drops to, just like the blue. There's my five drops. Oh, Jack, we're almost done. Look at that face. And definitely is going to need about two more minimum. I'm going to do three more just because. really pink so one two three four more it's starting to get a little bit more red consistency hey what's wrong what's the matter hey honey can you come grab them almost actually Yeah, can you come grab them just for like two seconds? No. You all messy? One, two more. This one took a lot of food coloring. This is looking more red, so two more just for good luck. Nice and red. So there's my three colors. Yeah.